Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Feed the Beast University, episode 12, I think. And we are back here working on Batania again today. I'm very, very, very psyched. I love Batania. And last episode, we set up some very rudimentary beginnings of it. And today, we're going to continue with that, basically, as soon as I find a diamond. Where the heck are my diamonds? Someone's stealing them all now. Okay. All right, there we go. I need to get one diamond because I need to make one mana diamond. And you get that by dropping a, man a diamond into a pool of mana. Hopefully, I have enough saved up at this point. I did uh, AFK while I edited the last video for a few minutes, so hopefully there's enough. Uh, it generally doesn't take that much just to make one, so hopefully we'll have that here. Uh, but I um, hope you enjoyed last episode. I hope you enjoyed the beginnings of some mana. got some weird shadow things happening there. That's not that much fun. Weird. Just keeps on going. What the heck is going on here? Is that my shader not playing very nice with the with the mana collection, maybe? Because that just started. Anyway, okay, so we got over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this right into there. Oh. Where'd it go? There it is. I got a mana diamond. Very cool. And here is the quest that I want to work on. Okay, I want to make a runic altar. The runic altar uses mana and items to craft runes, which are used in some crafting recipes. For some of the more advanced recipes, you need runes, I think. Throw the ingredients on, feed it mana into a mana spreader, and let it craft. When it's done absorbing mana, it will throw some living rock Oh, then you throw some living rock on it and click it with the wand of the forest. I almost forgot the living wand part, or the living rock part. Okay, cool. And let's check out the recipe of this. It's just living rock and this mana diamond that I just got. So that should be, well, pretty simple to make. I think, is it just this? Yeah, it is. Runic altar. Very nice. And we're going to put this guy right about here. <laughs> and you know what that means? I'm going to need, I'm going to need another mana spreader, I think. To go from this pool over. Yeah, I am. I'm in the other ma another mana spreader. Let's go get another mana spreader and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back in. Now, what's cool about the runic altar are, wow, those, those sun glitches are super weird. Brand new. Brand new to the series. Coming with some sort of weird cloud sun things. Oh, that's super odd. I really want to play the series with shaders, but if that's, if that's going on, because that just started. If that's going on, then I'm going to have to uh, edit. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit those plans. Anyway, let's continue on. We're going to grab this and I'm gonna shift click, shift click. And now this thing is starting to get power. Now, I don't believe I will overflow. I don't believe. I think that it will only take as much as it needs and then stop. So that way I'm not wasting any mana. I don't think that that's how this kind of thing goes. But in the meantime, why don't we just do this and this and then replant this and this because like I'm, I'm, I, I'm gonna need a lot and I'm chewing through it pretty darn fast. So let's just do all of that. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look at the class. We just made this. So we should get some sort of sweet reward. Eh, 16 living rock gets it's kind of sweet. Okay, so next. Next thing I really want to do is I'd like to automate, and there's not actually a quest for it. I'm really surprised there's not. There's not a quest for the Batania dropper. That's really odd. That's really odd, but we have some automation that we can do. Maybe that was covered in Feed the Beast Academy, which is kind of the easy beginner version of this pack. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to automate my two tiny puny little endo flames here because I don't know. Are they still rolling? No, they're out already. They've already chewed through that. So what I'd like to do is have a place where I can put down coal or charcoal here and then have it just drop on a pad, which is not too bad to do. To, like always, always have one there. Um, and that way you're not wasting stuff. I think I can probably work that out. So let's actually try. It's not bad. Let's check out a dropper. The reason why I want to use a, a Batania dropper is I think... I don't remember why. I think it's like more accurate or something, but I don't even see it on there. It must be called something else. Uh, Batania. I actually know what it looks like, so I can just sort of scan for the look of it. It looks like, man, Batania had so many things. Just so many blocks. It's really a brilliant mod. Let's see. Where the heck is that dropper? There's some things I have never seen before. I don't think I've ever seen this mana enchanter, but that seems very cool. Um, manatide bellows. What? What is that for? Is that immersive engineering add-on? I think maybe it is. I'm not sure. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a look for this thing that I'm looking for right now, and I'll come back. Okay. I know why I couldn't remember. Oh Jesus, night I could have been dead. I had, I had to Google it. I had to go old school Google uh, to <laughs> figure out what the heck this thing is called. Oh look, this that tree grew. 
Okay, this one is not as cool as the one I saw out in nature. <laughs> I don't know if this is biome or what. The one I saw in nature was like really big and intricate and cool. That one not is not so much, but <laughs> that's all right. So anyway, the dropper that I'm looking for isn't called a dropper. It's called an open crate. I mean, why I didn't think of that name? That's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I need a couple things here because I want to work on two different things all at the same time. I need a tiny little bit of glass. Not very much, but that's certainly plenty. And I'm going to need some iron. Of course, so let me just grab that much iron as well, and that should be good. I want to make, while we're here working on Batania, I want to make a ring of magnetization, which is a super cool ring. It doesn't actually cost mana, and when you're mining and stuff like that, it just sucks up all the items. It's one of the first things that I should have made if I was really paying attention whenever I started this mod pack. That would have been very helpful back in the early days of this mod pack, you know, back like last week or whatever. Um, but let's continue just to do this while we, uh, every time we see it and notice it that it's done, I'm gonna try to do this and, and just keep this all rolling the whole time so we have it. Okay, so a couple things, I need this open. That is not, that did not work. It's right here, what? Oh, it's planks, okay. All right, so make it a little bit cheaper. That's nice. So we'll just do this. There we go. Open crate. Cool. I didn't get redstone. Darn it all. Mm, do I need it though? I don't know that I do, depending on how I, how I work this out. Uh, I probably need one red. I probably need one redstone actually. But but let's while we're waiting here for this, let's see how many iron I can make. Can I drop this? Let's see. One, two. Three. I'd like eight. Four. Ah, okay. Five. Okay. So I made four and now I'm out. So that's fine. We can throw these two on the ground right now. I think they'll each only take one. They're both working. Okay, cool. All right. That should probably be enough to make my iron, I would think. Let's just go get a tad, a tiny bit of redstone so we can work out this um, this little coal distributing, coal distribution thing. Also, I may make, I may grab a furnace um yeah i may grab a furnace as well just so i can grab you know so i can make a stack of wood wood is so wood is easier for me to come by than coal is actually at this point uh with just trees and charcoal and the one chop thing and all that kind of stuff so i may as well just just do that so i'll grab some redstone and i'll meet you back over there all right, my, my, my redstone expertise is uh, questionable at very best, but I, I think this is how you would do it. I, I th There's got to be easier ways to do the redstoning. But anyway, I think what's going to happen is once I put a, a dropper up on top of this with some coal, I think that when this place is powered, it'll... Can I get it in there? Yeah, it'll stop any more from dropping i think i think that's how it works and that way there will always be one coal on here for these guys so the next thing i have to do is well get some coal uh so i'll chuck on these trees and i'll make a little bit little bitty furnace here and then um i don't know, we'll figure out if we can if we can get this whole situation to work but see how much faster wood is to get than like it's mining for coal, especially with all the other ores, you know, that again, again, it's kind of like, kind of like the flower situation, like all having all the other ores, ores is cool, but they make coal. I think, I think, I feel that they make coal spawn less. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I do want to make a man of steel ring in addition to setting up this hopper situation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I have eight man of steel. I kind of forgot that I had four already in storage from, I believe a chest, like a village or something, I think is where I got that. I'm not really totally sure. So let's see here if I can work this out. I think it's uh mag magna magna. Yeah. It's this guy right here. Okay. And there's a better one too. Pfft, this one's fine. It's totally fine. So I need gold. Oh, I just put away my gold. Darn it all, oh, man. I just put away my gold. Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> before I so rudely interrupted myself, I do, I'm going to need one gold, one iron, which I have. And I need, looks like I need one. Oh, I can use a glass pane, but honestly, I could just use one full glass block. That's not a big deal. And let's see. Can I make this guy? Yes, I can. Cool. And can I make this guy right here? Yeah, I surely can. And now this can go on my bobble spot. Boom. Boom. Check it out. Watch this, right? Oh, no, I threw it. So I think there's a there's a cooldown. But if you wait for a second. There you go. Look at that. Just comes. And as you can see, it costs no mana. It's completely free. That is a really, really, really cool little helper dude over there. So before sundown, let's see if we can manage to actually make this this redstone mechanism that I have dreamt of. No, I haven't dreamt of. I've used this before in the past, playing back in my old, my, old, uh, old and uh, modded days 
I, I've used this recipe a couple times. So let's see. I'm going to need a chest. Uh, just one chest. <laughs> that's that's nothing. I just did nothing. I just need... Here, I need this. Make me a chest, would you? There's a chest. Oh, it, yes, Christmas was yesterday. By the way, the day I'm recording this episode right now. Uh, okay, so yeah, I cannot do this before nighttime because as you can see, it is now nighttime. If I throw this in right now, what is going to happen? Okay, I, oh, I just picked... Oh, my magnet ring. Yeah, my magnet ring just went. Okay, okay, that did not work. <sighs> I just put on something that is messing up my whole system. I gotta go sleep, darn it. I'm going to have to do some reading. I thought we could read together. Welcome to Batania. I congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling and book together or just finding you in a village. Oh, or just finding this stone in a chest, whichever applies. <laughs> I tried to be smart. I tried to be more of a smart ass than Vesky, and I failed. You can navigate this book using arrows at the bottom of the page or your mouse wheel or the arrow keys on the keyboard. Despite its looks, Batania is essentially a tech mod by definition, requiring you to put ingenuity and thought pro and redstone to create progress. Uh, it's good to keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. For all intents and purposes, uh, Batani is a mod for anyone who likes to play the game with primary purpose of building cool things. It's designed to be fully playable and standalone, but is also playable with other mods. Excluding a couple cases, everything in the mod is fully automatable uh, using Minecraft itself. It's true. It's great. If you happen to find yourself lost, try checking the mod's advancements or challenges, both of which can be found on the left-hand side of this book's main page. The book is laid out in a friendly way with good amount of handy features of before you start jumping in and playing, take a bit of time to familiarize yourself with the various tidbits around the place do. After this, uh, you'll be taken to a page where you can optionally start a tutorial that will teach you the basics of the mod uh, in about 10 minutes, give or take. However, it teaches you only the very basics. So if you have a good foothold in the concepts, further research is a good idea. If you're unsure as to what you want to learn about, hold shift while browsing through various categories to get a real quick idea of what each thing is. The lexicon index category can be very helpful for searching as it contains every entry in the book in one place. And that's it for this introduction. You can move on to the tutorial now, which we will not be doing. Hope you enjoy playing Batania as much as I enjoyed making it. Vasky, the mod author. Uh, carry on by pressing back button on the bottom. You're right. By Taylor Swift. No, 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 Alexa, stop, computer, stop. <laughs> what, what the heck did I say that made my, my Alexa start playing Taylor Swift? <laughs> what the hell? It started playing me featuring Brandon Uri of Panic at the Disco. Oh, man. Well, I'm not going to read any more of that because apparently it, it takes me to a Taylor Swift sort of thing. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do either of those two things. No, I, no, no, I stop sharing. No. Stop sharing. No, I just want to go back. It, it said back, right? It said actually told us what to do. No, I just go, no, just go back. I don't want to share. I don't want to add a bookmark. I don't want to view online. I don't want to show notes. I just want to go back to the beginning. There, this, okay, there it is. All right. Here's the basics. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the basics of all the different things that we've done. As you can see, we've done actually quite a few of these things already. Um, where I want to start with, probably, there is something, and I don't know if it's a flower or what, that blocks your magnet ring from picking stuff up. And uh, might be mystical flower. No, that that's just that's just. I'm always gonna hit that that escape button. Uh, it, that, um, what do black lows do? And, it, uh, make black lows there. However, it's not, uh, it doesn't grow or reproduce where they can be found. Okay. They're only found in loot chests. I know that. However, it contains a small amount of concentrated mana that can be released by putting inside a mana pool that already has mana in it. I don't think I actually knew that. That's cool. Okay. So, so we can just throw those in just to get like instant boost of mana. That's pretty cool. However, still not what we're looking for. I am looking for... I'm looking for, let me see if I, if I just type, if I just search magnet, no, didn't, didn't even come up. Uh, here we go. Generating flora. No functional flora, maybe functional flora. Oh, I'm going to have to read all these. <laughs> maybe, hold on. Maybe I can check and look for a magnet ring. Uh, let me see if I can find that. And I'll, 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 I'll come back and I'll discuss after, after I do some reading. Aha. Yes, I can. Yes, I can find it. it by, this is the ring of magnetization. By turning a mag, uh, magnetizing lens into a wearable ring, one can use it to magnetize nearby items. While equipped, this ring will make nearby uh, items magnetized towards the wearer if they're not sneaking. Interesting. I 
didn't know that. A notable feature of this piece is that it will negate its effect for five seconds after the word toss an item on the ground as not interfere for whatever it's tossed for. A solignolia, possibly pronounced, can disrupt this ring's functionality. So that's what we actually want to make. We want to make a solignolia. So can I click on this? No, uh, no, I can't. So let's see if we can find a solignolia and see how to make that. Cause I'm gonna want one of those right away. So, uh, it, oh, that's, is that all it does? I think that's all it does. And it doesn't require, man. Okay, so this is not too bad. I need two browns, a, what is that? That's a blue and a red and a redstone root, which I'm pretty sure a redstone root yeah, it's just, oh, it's just, it's crafting redstone in grass. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to need to get some shears to grab some grass. So let's go, let's go do that now. Cause that solignolia will be super valuable. So we'll just grab this. Okay, cool. And then I just need that one actually. So super easy. Yeah. I hear this one thing. Okay. That didn't make it. What is this? Oh, that's short grass. Darn it. No, I just want regular old grass. <laughs> just regular old Minecraft grass. Okay. There we go. Nope, still no. Okay. Can we read this again? How is this not? That's grass. And that's redstone. Does it have to be in that order? Maybe it has to be in a crafting. Oh, that's medium grass. Wait a second. No, I just want grass. Can I just get grass? <laughs> is there just normal? Okay. What the? What the? Is there a recipe for grass in this pack? Is that true? Is is that possible that regular Minecraft grass has a recipe? I can throw a dead shrub in to get real grass, I guess. Like, is it just random? I have an open inventory. There, I got one. <laughs> wow. Okay. Who 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 thought redstone grass like grass would be the the hang up? Here, okay, so I'm going to need uh, one of these at least. And, of course, I have no idea what the recipe is at this point. Sol Ig? Is it Sol Ig? No. Sol Ig Noya. Yes, this one. Okay. Cool. So, oh, Petite. It's really interesting. I, how do you make that? Oh, with a, out, with a catalyst. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I need two browns, a red, blue, and the redstone thing that I already made. Okay, let's try this again. Two browns. That's one of these. Okay, two browns and a red which I actually already have so i can get rid of that and a blue okay uh yeah okay so one blue one red and the two browns i think that'll do it let's see if i can let's see if i can work this out and, and not mess it up we'll see i, I probably no I don't, i'm gonna need a seed as well yeah i'm gonna need a seed as well let's grab a seed and then hopefully we can make this solignolia. Now I could make it floating if I wanted to, but I don't think there's necessarily a need for that. Oh no, don't don't fall down. No, I just want to get you out of this slot because I want to grab some uh, some seeds right here and just do this means. Because <laughs> why not? Why not do it that way? Did I get them? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go make this flower. Darn it, solignolia. I do that every time. I jump and I hit that wire every time. Every time, you know, the Minecraft thing is you always jump when you walk just because I think we're bored all the time. And, uh, yeah, I, I hit that wire with my head just, just about every single time I walk by it. Okay, so we got this thing right here, and we need to – where's my little <laughs> – oh, there it is. Okay. All right, let's try this. Ready? Here we go. Drop, drop. Drop. And drop. And also drop. Yeah, that's going to give me a solid know you, baby. Cool. Okay, so we got it. Now I can, I like it. I don't. I could make this floating or whatever, but I don't. I don't need to. I could just have it like here. I think. Now let's see if I throw this up in there. Yeah. See, it's not. It's not taking it. Aha! And yeah, it's working. Now that's gonna stay there for five minutes, right? But these will be burned out by then. So. What that means is, that means I've now, using redstone in my brain, and probably a tutorial that I watched like five years ago, but I don't remember at this point, uh, I have now, oh shoot, I didn't mean to use my axe for that. I have now automated, uh, brilliantly, the production of of uh, of, of whatever, whatever the heck I'm, I'm trying to make here. I, I'm trying to think and do this at the same time. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go harvest all this stuff, get all this stuff burning, and then we'll come back. I can do a few other things here with Batania, but I think we need to knock off a quest. So I made this. Oh, it is there. 
It is there. Why? I didn't even see it. Auto endo. Okay, the endo flame, probably the simplest flower, the easiest to automate. Yeah, that's for sure if I can figure it out. Uh, place a nearby wooden pressure plate nearby, then connect that to a hopper feeding the burnables into an open crate directly above the pressure plate. Okay? You know what? Anytime an item, yeah, it just tells you what we just did. Okay, normally I'm going to read all those, but this one I probably don't have to because literally it just explained the thing that I just got done doing. So um, I can make some more, uh, I can make some more ender, what do you call it, mana steel if I wanted to. But I think what I'd rather do right now is just make a couple chests, firstly, just so I have a place to put my stuff because I am getting just just overwhelmed overwhelmed with stuff at the moment so let's just let's just randomly like everything get in there all the stuff that i don't use on the regular okay uh cool okay great i'm still gonna need that and we'll put that and that and that very nice okay cool all right and also this i want that one wood get out of here. okay so are these burning yep they are and that's making mana and all that is good stuff so let's take a look more quests oh i didn't actually turn in cool all right so there's other things that we can do uh with this thing but I, i'm curious i you know i kind of want to get into the elfheim portal maybe but i feel like maybe that's a next episode sort of thing there are automatic planters that would be really nice. Like, we could automate our farms using Batania. That would be really cool. Like, full automation. I'm talking full Batania potato farm. I think that would be really fun to do. And maybe something that we should do because it would be energy-free and kind of fun. And also, that can also generate mana with, with these uh, Kekamoris, Kekamoris, I think. So, to make this. Now, this is pretty... Oh, that, 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 wait, that requires cake. That's not the one I was actually meaning um the one i'm looking for is generating flower and i don't actually see it uh the one that eats anything <laughs> eats anything can i let's see what does the book say on this there's a there's a flower that makes basically anything and i think it's the munch no is that tree oh that's leaves okay that's leaves. So that one's not ideal. And the problem with that is um, you don't get any saplings from it. So you would need some things to move saplings to be replanted and all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll probably do an automated tech tree farm eventually. But that, so that's not what we're looking for. What I'm looking for is this one. Uh, this one. Any food. The Gormorilla. This is going to be my big big Batani endgame thing. Um so I'm going to be dropping potatoes on this, probably cooked potatoes like crazy using a tree farm and all that kind of stuff. So we got some stuff to do. Let me do a little bit of thinking. I'll come back. You know, darn it all. I ran out of time again. I'm out of time again. We're 22 minutes into this episode already. So that means it's time to wrap this one up. So I will do some thinking about how I want to progress in this mod. And then we'll come back next episode and work more on Batania. I think this is Batania week, baby. We're doing Batania all week. Okay. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. Dropping a like. And if you want to comment, it means a lot to me. And I really enjoy reading uh, the comments of the folks who are good enough to make it through these videos. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.